How is everybody doing here on YouTube? I hope all of you are doing well. Thank you very much for checking my channel. I appreciate all of you who have already subscribed. I would like to ask you if you could subscribe and leave a thumbs up to support the channel. I would appreciate very much. I am very new here on YouTube. And as you can see, my videos are not as professional as many channels here. But with a lot of practice, I'm sure I'm going to start putting out great videos very soon. So today, what I am trying to do here is get the shortened candle. I'm trying to put it together. I watched quite a few videos here, and I saw that a lot of people are putting up these candles, uh, some of them called survival candles or heat generator. So let's try it out to see if how it works. This one here, I bought the shortening. One is, is regular, the other one is butter flavor. I did like the butter flavor because the butter flavor leaves that good smell at the house. And it feels like my grandmother was here cooking. The downfall with that is you'll be hungry all the time. I got these candles at the dollar store, which is no longer a dollar store, it's a dollar twenty-five store. I have found lots and lots of things there for survival. I've heard so many people here on videos saying that uh, that's a good place to buy some survival kits, survival stuff. Uh, that actually, it's a pretty good idea. I went there and I checked it for myself. And if you have an opportunity to and, and you're tight on cash, the dollar store is a pretty good place for you to start. Uh, those candles, I bought them in there. And what I did with them, as you're going to see uh, through this video, is the I cut them in half. And if you get if you get a mason jar, you can with two candles, you can make or either four candles, or if you put two candles in one jar to generate more heat, you can just cut them in half, and um, the half half candle will fit perfectly inside the mason jar. You will see here in the example uh, later on in this video. As you can see, it's butter flavor. And I am melting here on a pan right now. So you don't have to add anything to it. All you got to do is warm it up on a low heat. I put on a low heat so it doesn't get too hot. And I hear the mason jars uh, that I'm going to put the candles on. So I already measured them. And I'm waiting for... Um, for the but not the butter the shortening to to melt a little bit okay so shortly we're gonna see how it looks like now I am using this wick here which is a quite a big wick I put a hole on a cover just to hold the wick in place and I soaked it a little bit on a shortening and you just make sure it's barely touching the bottom of the mason jar okay now, I will do the experience with it, and uh, we'll go from there. And I'll let you know as the process goes on. As I said in the, early in the beginning of the video, I'm using a few different wicks. I'm using candles and, and wicks. On this wick here, as you can see, I put a hole on the center of the cover just to hold it in place. Now, it's barely touching the bottom of the can. I will give it a shot on this experience and let you know how it goes. Okay, uh, but just make sure you soak it on the shortening so you will get a, a good burn on it. So it's not going to burn all the way down and uh, burn too fast. All right. And once, once it is held up in place and you fill up the jar, um, all you have to do is remove the cover and uh, leave the wick out uh, for, uh, so you can set it on fire. I also have a smaller wick, this one right here that I'm showing you. If you take a look at it, I ordered them on eBay, but you can find them on Amazon as well. Uh, they are about the about just about half of the size, as you can see. And what I do is I cut it in half, and I make a 
a candle with two wicks on it. So I'm going to try it out and I will, uh, I probably will put a video together with this one just so you can see how they go. This is just a personal experience. I'm just trying to do different things here. And I will try to test every one of them and see where I go from there. Okay, and I'm going to be keeping you up to date. Now, this is the fire that I made with uh, two wicks, the little one that I cut in half. So it's smoking a little bit, uh, but I don't mind the smoke because, as I told you earlier on the video, it smells like butter cookie. It's the, the same butter flavor shortening that I'm using. The heat that it generates is quite a bit good. You're not going to sweat by this heat at all. Uh, it's not something that's going to be 100 degrees in your house, but it will keep your house comfortable. Um, depending, of course, depending on your body temperature. So in my case, 55, uh, 59, that is a good temperature for me. And I'm very impressed though. It's generating quite a bit some heat on this setup that I have here, which I will definitely uh, share with you how to build this particular spot heater. Okay, so here it is, the flame. Uh, it's burning quite a bit well. Uh, generating quite a bit some heat on it and a good smell too yeah, I just kind of hungry now I I think I want some cookies the heater in my house runs on oil and unfortunately oil has been so expensive lately that I decided to do the conduct this test just to share with all of you my personal experience with it so the, the spot heater that you saw on, uh, on the other picture with the bricks standing up was in my living room. This one here with the bricks laying down, it is in my kitchen. So the candles like that, as you can see, the smaller candles, uh, they have two wicks on each one of them. I thought by placing two wicks on them, it would cut the burning time by half, but so far it don't seem to be like it. And with the bricks a little lower like that, the the upper bricks they warm up a lot hotter and they emit quite a bit more heat than the other ones since the oil heating is so expensive this is one way that i was trying to keep my house in a good temperature so far guys since the cold season started here in northeast of the country i have not turned on my heat more than three times at the time of the recording of this video. I only turned it on when I have people coming over the house. I want them to feel more comfortable. But if I am by myself at my house, I simply don't use uh, uh, the heat at all. I just leave it off. So here it is. If you ask, are they safe? Yes, they are. I'm having great experience with them. Uh, they have been burning for quite a bit some time now. I don't have any complaint. And are they efficient? So far, yes, but I will make more videos and I will update you on everything, okay? Thank you very much. Leave a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to support the channel. And I wish you all a warm winter and God bless you all. Be safe. Just before I forget, I'm putting my hands here around it and it feels quite warm. It put out quite a bit some heat. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.